People infected with COVID-19 may spread the disease when they speak and breathe, not only when they cough. Although these modes of transmission could help to explain how asymptomatic and mildly infected people fuel the virus spread, researchers don't yet know whether tiny particles expelled in breath infect more people than large droplets spewed through coughs. The World Health Organization still states that COVID-19 spreads mostly through direct contact with infected people and with infected large respiratory droplets, which measure more than 0.0002 inches in diameter. The hefty droplets fly from a person's mouth when they cough or sneeze, falling to the ground by the time they've traveled only about two feet. However, mounting evidence suggests that aerosols may spur transmission more than once thought, and these smaller particles can remain aloft for a considerable amount of time, on the order of hours. In a study, researchers described how aerosolized coronavirus particles can remain viable for up to three hours in the air, meaning they could infect a person hours after being expelled. Until scientists learn more about the true viability of the virus in a variety of settings and conditions, they have to consider all the potential routes of transmission in their attempts to slow transmission. That means people should maintain strict social distancing and wear a mask when out, even if you don't feel ill. The notion that the novel coronavirus SARS-CoV-2 might be airborne has been a point of contention throughout the pandemic. Evidence suggests that the related virus SARS-CoV likely spread through aerosols but only in healthcare settings and other specific scenarios. But from the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, people are getting up and saying definitively that the disease mostly transmits through respiratory droplets. In reality, no one knows that for sure. While scientists understand the various routes by which respiratory viruses can enter the body, determining which route a pathogen prefers can be incredibly difficult. Although scientists have studied influenza for decades, its primary route of transmission remains a mystery. That said, evidence does suggest that people emit aerosols while they speak and that the particles can shuttle viral materials between hosts. Though less obvious than a wet sneeze, aerosols are still large enough to carry pathogens and can be generated through speech in several ways. Mucus-like fluid that clings to your thin blood vessels in the lungs can break off in droplets as people inhale and exhale. The same can happen as the vocal cords vibrate, snapping open and closed to generate different sounds. People also expel spittle from their mouths as they speak. Both breath and speech generate aerosols in these ways, but speech can generate about 10 times more aerosols than breathing alone. In a 2019 study in the journal Nature Scientific Reports, experts investigated how many of these tiny particles people let off in a normal conversation. They found that people expel between 1 and 50 aerosol particles per second as they speak, depending on how loud they speak. A follow-up study revealed that certain units of sound generate more aerosols than others. For example, the E sound in need produces more particles than the A in saw. But still, the sheer volume of a person's voice acts as the main determinant of whether someone emits many particles or just a few. In the context of COVID-19, super emitters could potentially act as super spreaders, releasing thousands of infectious particles into the surrounding air in a matter of minutes. A 10 minute conversation with an infected asymptomatic super emitter talking at a normal volume thus would yield an invisible cloud of approximately 6,000 aerosol particles. At this point, however, we don't know how infectious that aerosolized cloud might be. To determine how speech and breathing contribute to COVID-19 transmission, scientists must learn how much of the virus the average aerosol contains and how much virus one must inhale to become infected. Tracking how the aerosols move in different environments when subjected to different airflows would also provide key clues about the risk transmission. Future research could also address how varying levels of humidity, wind, and heat affect aerosols and the viruses held within them. But the role of speech-generated aerosols in COVID-19 transmissions remains, for now, hypothetical.